Uh, okay, so I want to backtrack a little bit because we kind of skipped over this, uh, and I didn't mean to. We kind of went uh, through to Yamamoto's first start without talking about Reese Hoskins. Um, so on opening day, the bench is cleared, right? And this was a big story throughout baseball because it's something – that we always talk about every single season. There's what is perceived to be a dirty slide, right? Where either somebody gets hurt or somebody doesn't get hurt, but they're at the risk of suffering a serious injury, right? So Reese Hoskins, uh, ground ball. Uh, what was it? A ground ball to short, uh, ground ball to short, ground ball to third, right? Alfred. And it was, and Jeff McNeil, who's playing second base is covering second base. Reese Hoskins slides late into second base. and kind of takes out his legs, right? I wouldn't say take out his legs, but he kind of, he slid. I don't think he got cleated, but he definitely ran into one of his legs. It was a late slide. Uh, and McNeil was obviously visibly upset. Both the benches cleared. It was, it was a pretty ugly situation. And now, you know, for the remaining, whatever it was, two days that the Brewers were in Queens, Reese Hoskins was showered with booze like you wouldn't believe. You know, you would have thought that Jason Bay had walked into the arena, uh, into the stadium. But um, what's your take, Alfred? Dirty slide. Do you think McNeil was kind of being a little soft? Like, what do you think? Well, the slide was late. Usually, as somebody who's played baseball a good, good part of their lives, right? you don't slide that late. If you know, Like, I understand split decisions, but, you know, if you're going to slide, you start your slide midway between, well, maybe about a little bit more, three, maybe about 60% of the way between first and second. That slide was extremely late. There, that, that wasn't a baseball play. And I think Mets fans and the organization itself still have PTSD from uh, the Chase Utley <laughs> incident where uh, Ruben Taada got his, uh, his shin broken. Yep. So, I mean, hey, I, I don't know if our manager th- uh, told uh, – <laughs> Told uh, Johan to uh, to throw at Hoskins, but I didn't blame him. I wasn't mad. Yeah, I mean Johan Ramirez is, is, I mean, and he showed it in the, his next outing. I mean, he's kind of not very good, right? I guess I feel like that's somebody that if you're gonna throw, if if you're gonna sacrifice a bullpen arm for <laughs> to throw at somebody, Johan Ramirez would probably be one of the guys that's safe to do so. Yep. He's not, it's not like Edwin Diaz is throwing at him where you need, you need him to, to win games. Right. Um, no disrespect to Johan Ramirez. Well, I guess I can't just say that. It, that was pretty disrespectful to Johan Ramirez. Hopefully he doesn't know where I live. Anyway, um, so here's the thing. Um, I understand why people are saying that that's a dirty play, and maybe it is, right? Because you're a hundred percent right. The slide was late. It was very late. Blatantly like, late. It was definitely late. Without a doubt. That's inarguable. It was definitely late. Um, however, he wasn't cleated, and it didn't look like the impact created by the slide was that hard. Right? It didn't look like to me, from my view, that. Reese Hoskins slide into Jeff McNeil that would not have caused Jeff McNeil to tear his ACL and lose the entire season. I didn't view it that way. Now I understand, like I said, why people are upset. I understand why Jeff McNeil was upset. I also think that it didn't require Jeff McNeil getting that mad. I also think that Jeff McNeil was for the lack of a better term, kind of being a bitch. Like, I, I just think it was a little bit overplayed. I don't think he needed to start screaming at the guy. Like I said, Reese Hoskins could very easily have made a dirty play, but McNeil didn't end up getting hurt from it, right? McNeil, I don't know, was in real any real danger of getting hurt from it. Like, that was, in my view, and you can, you can argue with me if, if you disagree, that, in my view, is that if a base runner wanted to disrupt a double play, that is how you would do it, right? You want to impede the, th- you want to physically impede the throw without really trying to cause injury. I don't think Reese Hoskins was trying to hurt Jeff McNeil. I don't think that that was the intention. Intention. I think he was trying to break up a double play. That's my thing. 
I, I think Jeff McNeil took it to an extent that I didn't think it needed to go. And then once the, 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 the situation got escalated, then I think both parties were really kind of feeding into the whole thing, right? Reese Hoskins with the crying baby, the whole bit, but, and they were obviously talking smack about each other post game and whatever, but that's what I think. I think Jeff McNeil, for the lack of a better term, overreacted. I'm going to have to disagree with you, Mike, because, yeah, you said he, he, <laughs> he, didn't, really get, he didn't get cleated and he didn't get injured, but he could have. Yeah, sure. If, if Hoskins slides a bit later or if he makes contact or, or McNeil doesn't dance out of the way, who knows what could happen. Sometimes you don't intend to do things and things still happen. Yeah, so, but, but I, I, would, I would argue that saying that is almost like saying, well, if – and I'm, I'm the only reason I'm using this example is because it's the first players that come to my head, right? If Luis Severino had thrown at Jackson Churio's head on accident, right? Luis Severino's command is not the best in the world, right? Luis Severino throws a 92 mile an hour slider, right? If he loses control of a slider and it ends up going f- behind Jackson Churio's head, right? Well, Jackson Churio could slam the bat, charge the mound, and be like, well, what the hell did you do that for? But because technically he could have gotten hurt by that, right? I just think that the like the the reason to get that upset being that like it could have been a dangerous play. I just don't know that that's reason enough to cause such an uproar. I mean, like, I think that's where I'm, where, where I'm, where you're losing me here. I mean, like I said, think, think freak accidents have happened on baseball fields before. So, sure. Cause, and, and Hey, I, I mean, as somebody who played, I would be mad if somebody slid into me at the last possible second, just for the sake of breaking up a double play. Mind you, they, they they're already up when this happened. So, yeah. You know, I, I don't. I don't blame Jeff, but that's just for my, for my, where I sit. Well, like I said, I don't know that I blame Jeff McNeil for being upset. I don't bl- think I, I. I think I blame Jeff McNeil for being that upset, right? Like, like I don't know that that was necessary. Do you like? Do you think that the the actual reaction that of what happened, right? The 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 benches clearing, all of the talk, all of the like like all of that, right? Like the Johan Ramirez. Uh, throwing, uh, throwing at Reese Hoskins, whatever. Like, do you think all that was necessary for this? Like, because I understand, like, I understand that that's kind of how baseball works, right? Like, it's it kind of reminds me of, like, you remember last year when, uh, Ian Happ, right? It was a Cubs Cardinals game, and Ian Happ took a swing. And whether it was on purpose or it wasn't on purpose, hit Wilson Contreras, who was the catcher, in the back of the head, and he started bleeding, right? They needed to take him out of the game. His his head was literally, he got hit in the head with the bat, right? So I don't know that Ian Happ did that on purpose, but it happened. Miles, But a backswing, you can't control that. Sliding into somebody intentionally and... Hitting a guy by accident on the on the end of his swing is two totally different things. Well, well, hey, I, I don't know that I disagree with you, but but that's kind of not my that's not really where I'm going. Where I'm going is like def, the backswing, whether it was on purpose or not, it, it happened, right? Wilson Contreras got taken out of the game. It was kind of actually a, a fairly brutal scene because you kind of saw the blood gushing out of his head. It was actually pretty gross. But <clears throat> like the next at bat for me and Hap. Miles Michaelis throws a 94 mile an hour fastball at his hip and hits him. Right? No emotion from either side. Miles My- Michaelis didn't like point and start talking. Like there was no showing up. Ian Happ just calmly walked down to first base. Like there was just a general understanding of players that that's kind of how baseball works. Right? Something like that happens in a game. The other team physically like shows that you acknowledge it. I understand that that's part of the game. Right now, eventually they threw Miles Michaelis out, and I thought that that was kind of ridiculous. But, like, I understand that that's a part of the game. But this kind of just piggybacks off of my question to you before. Like, do you think that all of that extracurricular stuff was necessary in all this? Because I'm not sure that I do. 
I guess you, I guess you make a point. I mean, different teams handle it, handle things differently. That's that's all mm-hmm. I can say. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, listen. I mean, look. I I think, <clears throat> like I said. I, I think it may have escal- uh, escalated into a place where it didn't need to go. But look, like I said, I, I mean, I, we also don't know what Reese Hoskins or anybody said to Jeff McNeil after. Like if, if, if Reese Hoskins said something about Jeff McNeil's mother or something like that, then that totally changes the entire situation. So I don't know. 